Good morning, today is Bank Holiday Monday and we are doing a charity event. So this is the Empowered Rider charity event and it's a charity that's based in the northwest of England, so right on my doorstep. And they basically encourage, help people that um, have a disability, either get back into cycling or kind of promote the benefits of cycling. So that is what we're doing, that is what we're supporting today. We are doing, um, I mean it's like, it's literally on my doorstep, so it's like three climbs. Uh, Blackstone Edge, Crag Vale, which is the longest climb in the UK, and then kind of the third climb. There's like basically three climbs at the top. Not at the top, what am I even saying? There's basically three climbs and they all meet at one point and you just kind of go up, go down, go up, go down, go up and down. And there's some of the empowered riders here today, so it's just a big charity event. Do raise money for the charity, really worthwhile charity. Um, I'll leave the details below, so if you do want to donate, then feel free to do that. And I'll be taking you around on the ride. I think it's about 50k maybe, so we've done like a little bit before and after. We probably will do a little bit more after that as well, but just a beautiful day. Look at this. Look at that view. It's very, very pretty. So yeah, we're gonna head off today. More riders coming in, so. And that's the finish. Just there, we're going to come back. Also, um, help build the bikes as well for different people, depending on what their disability is, or depending on you know what what they actually need from a bike. So there's so many different types of bikes here. So um, that is I don't know if I've said this before, but this is the charity that I'm going to be raising money for when I do Lens and John O'Groat. So I'm going to set up a Just Giving page. So when I do that like eight day ride, this is a charity that I'm going to be raising cash for. I just think it's just a great, great charity, so, yeah. <laughs> I've not made a very good job of getting my number on. <laughs> it's just on one zip tie. It'll do, it'll do. Let's have a look how neat yours is. It's not blue though, Richard. It's a bit star. <laughs> that tickled me. Oh my God, look how neat yours is. <laughs> of course it's so neat because it's on the Franzi Canyon, whereas mine's on. Oh yeah, oh yeah. The trusty giant. Good some of these bikes are. amazing this is where all the three roads join so we've got we've come up from this one actually you can't see so we've come up from that one so that's Blackson Edge that one down there is Craig Vale and that one there is the other one I don't know what it's called but yeah we're just gonna do all three and then meet back up at the top just here amazing just very quickly I just want to remember this moment it's just amazing I've just come up with this guy who was bringing up his nephew and he was just like thanks so much for the support coming up so I'm just riding up with it and it's just amazing what an amazing amazing charity and what they're doing is just great just love it absolutely love it and we've just got back been a, it was a really good route. There's some of those little roads that I haven't done before. Really nice climbs. So really nice. We're going to get a drink now. And yeah. Good ride. Good day. Beautiful weather. And what made you set up the charity? Uh, I've got MS. And when I got um, told I had MS, uh, it came on over the years. And I had to start so stop riding uh, and eventually I got to the point where I couldn't ride a conventional two-wheel bike anymore and then I uh, didn't do anything for two years and became I suppose vegetated at home and then I discovered electric bikes and it changed my life completely and I describe electric bike as like <laughs> the hand of your father as giving you a push when you first learn to ride and it's a wonderful feeling to get that fresh air back in your face and be independent and we started the charity in April 2013 
and it's grown and grown and grown and we've helped over 60 people directly now with uh, grants, help, support, adaptions on the bikes and it just keeps growing and growing. And that's what the money from, so people that are fundraising, if anyone donates, I guess for today's ride the money will go be put into paying for bikes for people. Yeah, yeah. there's obviously a cost to run the charity yeah. but this event creates money to help make the charity run and then donations and grants that we get we go and help an individual or we develop and work with individuals we're going to the Isle of Man next year and we've managed to get a good funding package from the steam packing company and where we'll the charity will fund half of it to take a lot of our riders because a lot of our riders don't have a lot of money they're on grants and benefits so it's helping them to go and do something which they dreamed about really. And what kind of feedback do you get from people that maybe have ridden for years and then something's happened and they're not able to ride a conventional bike anymore? What, what feedback do you get from people that are able to kind of ride bikes again? It's, it's moving. I, I just, I didn't realise just how powerful this charity is and that you get people coming doing these in fantastic events who thought they would never achieve anything like that again and the smile and the just how it changes a person's thoughts and belief and it just changes their life. Amazing, thank you so much. Thank you for for having making the charity, thanks for putting this event on. I, I absolutely love it and any help I can give thank you I'll be about thank anytime. So this is all and this is cadging and everything and but wow. this is made and all this is all made of 3D printers. So everything on here is made specifically for the bike. So it's and that's what the money goes towards everything creating. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. So this to buy it is about four thousand pounds if you could buy it. Um what I've got is it's a form of a tax here. Which is it's a new neurological uh, condition that affects all four limbs basically in my speech obviously and um, but mainly my legs so I can can feel and I can stand up I just just can't walk and I've no balance and have you had that since you were since you were since birth yeah and how was like riding with Empower people how has that helped you um the good. They'll always give you like one or two like support riders um, who are there if you need them or not. Um, they're just good. I've been to well with them. Um, we've got plans to go to the Isle of Man next year. Fantastic. So, yeah, they look good really really helpful brilliant and have you always ridden a hand cycle then no no um like i said i started on the recumbent about about nine years ago about eight seven eight nine years ago before that i had one that attached my wheelchair and it was basically just to get the shops and just so I could put it in my chair and take it off and going up uphill that's why I'm slow going uphill because all my weight goes to the back um, so I, it's, it's difficult to where uh, if I get a gradient say, I'll, I'll say about 12-13% mm -hmm my front wheel will start to lift and start to spin because of all my weight's on the back wheel um, and obviously I'll do it everything with this yeah um, so it, it's, it's hard work going uphill um, get people saying oh go on get a, get a move on and cars bipping at you it's like you give it a go cars bip at you until you <laughs> that's horrific but there was a, a young lad today hanging out of his window shouting uh, get, get out of the road. But you get out of the road. I agree, we had it as well and you think, God, you know what? It's, why are people so horrible? Yeah. About a hundred, between a hundred and two hundred. A hundred and two hundred kilometres a week? Yeah. 
Yeah, it differs. I um, if I ride every day, it's about twenty, thirty miles a day. That's amazing. Absolutely, you are an inspiration to anyone that says that they haven't got time to go on the bike or they can't be bothered to go on the bike. Honestly, absolute pleasure chatting to you. Thank you so much for for chatting. I really appreciate it. I'll probably see you on a, on one of the other rides. I'll be back. Until Andrew, I said hello. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.